We want to turn now to a story that you are only going to see on 11 news. Some in house preschool providers in Southern Colorado say they're worried and frustrated after payments from that state office were days late. For some providers, the issue happened two months in a row. The state is admitting to the mistake, saying they continue working to improve that program. Investigative reporter Melissa Henry sat down with a provider who reached out to 11 News and took their questions to the state. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 this school na, na, year, Sandra Richardson and her husband welcome three dozen children into their home, which doubles as Little Kiga Preschool near Falcon. How can I be a good teacher if I have concerns and worry how to pay my bills? That's a concern the Richardsons now have after the state changed how it pays providers opting into the universal preschool program, commonly called UPK, which gives every child in the year before kindergarten a set number of preschool hours free to families. I do worry, honestly, I opened my doors because I support this program, but if they continue to make it a hardship for providers, then they're not going to be able to continue to offer the mixed delivery system that the voters approved. Shayna Van Kooten is another provider running a small preschool out of her home in Falcon. She, like others, is concerned after the state changed how and when it pays providers. In short, providers used to get paid monthly on the 8th, but starting this school year, they get paid on the 15th for the month prior's work. It was very bumpy, very rocky. Nobody knew what was going on. We were building the payment system kind of as, um, as we were implementing in year one because it was such a rapid launch under a compressed timeline. That's Don O'Dean, the UPK program director. In our first year of implementation, we were doing um, paying ahead and paying in arrears at the same time, and that created a lot of confusion monthly. Then in August, providers looked at their bank accounts on payday to see no payment cleared. UPK leaders confirm providers received their August payments four days late. That was a mistake that shouldn't have happened. We did a big debrief about why that happened and how we can ensure that it doesn't happen again. But then it did happen again with the next payment. This time, a much smaller group of about 20 providers were impacted. Van Kooten was one of them. Their soft and fuzzy deadlines for the, their, themselves is not functional. The Richardsons say they've taken their concerns to program leaders and lawmakers. Somebody, Help. listen, yeah. mm -hmm. you've got issues out here, nobody's listening. For KKTV 11 News, I'm Melissa Henry.